Hey there, it's Jim from Janku, and today I want to take a look at one of my favorite screen recorders for Linux, Kazam. Now, currently I'm actually recording this video using OBS Studio, and OBS Studio is great. It's a really full-featured uh, video recording and streaming uh, product, but it's very heavy-handed. So actually, when I do demos, it's very slow, um, and there's a lot of configuration and things um, that you have to tailor to your specific workflow. I just want something that's really easy to set up, kind of like QuickTime for Mac, and Kazam's a perfect solution for that. So I'm over here on the project's GitHub page, and um, I actually already have Kazam installed on my system. So if I go and I look for Kazam, you see I have it over here. If I click it, it opens this little Kazam dialog. Um, now, this is the older version of Kazam. So if I come up here and I look at help and I look at about, it says that this is version 1.4.5. Now, over here on the project page, I can see that we actually have a newer version of Kazam here. So there's actually, I believe the 1.5 version. Let's see if it says it anywhere here. Um, I'm not sure where it says that, but I've seen it somewhere here. Um, so essentially there's a newer version um, and I wanna get that. So I'm actually gonna come here and I'm gonna to go to my software center first and I'm going to uninstall the version of Kazam that I have currently. So I'm gonna come here and search for Kazam, Kazam and I see that it's installed, I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm just going to click remove, and I'll remove this version here. I'll just enter the password for my computer, and that's removing. So now I'm actually going to install a new version. Now on the GitHub page, it actually wants you to install this using pip for newer versions of Ubuntu. So um, Ubuntu 22.04 newer. I actually have an older version of Ubuntu here, so I'm running Ubuntu 20. Um, and I have a really old laptop, so I'm kind of a little bit behind. It's probably probably due for an upgrade here sometime soon. But um, for now, this is uh, what I'm using. So I'm going to um, use some other instructions over here from the itsfoss.com website. Um, so they do a great job explaining a lot of features of Kazam and some other things um, that Kazam can do. And then they have some installation um, instructions as well. So... Um, one of the installations is just using uh, an app get package manager to install Kazam. That's fine. They also talk about the um, uh, the pip instructions as well. Um, and then they have uh, this other method down here using the unofficial PPA. So this will only work for older versions of Ubuntu, um, which is fine for us because we're on 2004. So this will work for us. Hopefully something like this might work for you as well. If not, then I would do the pip installation. Um, if you're not familiar with pip, it's a package manager. So my video keeps cutting out while I'm doing this because OBS is really sluggish uh, while I'm trying to do this. So you're probably noticing my screen is freezing a lot. I apologize for that. Um, hopefully you can get through this. Essentially, this is where the instructions are that I was talking about on the It's Foss website. Um, I just went through and I grabbed this first line here to install the PPA and I just copied this over and I went over to my terminal and I basically just pasted this in like this. And I, I ran that and I had to do a stop and start a couple of times just to get the screen recording software to work. So hopefully you can follow along with this, but essentially, you know, I press enter here and I'll... Okay, so I had to stop my screen recording software for a minute because it was just going simply too slow. Okay, we're up and running again. Um, then I, I, I got out of the command and I just ran this one more time and it went through this time. Um, hopefully that works. Now I'm going to just run the update and we'll give that a second to run. <clears throat> and then finally, I'm going to come back over here to. So I actually have to stop OBS Studio and exit out of the program every time to get these things to finish. So this is kind of part of the reason why I'm, I'm moving to a, a little bit simpler of a workflow. So I'm going to start the install of Kazam. I might have to do the same thing again, just getting out of OBS Studio if this takes a long time to go. Um, but I'll come back at the end of this if that's the case. actually seems to be running okay this time. I'm not speeding it up or anything at the moment. Okay, yeah, I stopped it one last time, but it looks like everything went through. Now let's come up here. Let's first go to our software center. You can see that the version that we had uninstalled previously is uninstalled, so that should be good. And now if I come and I look through my software for Kazam, we have Kazam here. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Okay, so we can already see that there's some additional um, uh, settings here that were on the older version. So I believe this is the newer version. Let's just come up here and check the help, go to about. Okay, you can see that this is 1.5.3 now. So this is great. So this 
is our newer version. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we could uh, basically have like a, a countdown timer to start our capture. We can decide if we want to do a full screen um, capture. Uh, we could do um, our webcam. So there's a bunch of different things we can do here. Um, we can come up, take a look at the preferences. Um, you can see that we're recording through our audio interface right now. So that's great there. Um, there's some other settings here for screencasting, screenshotting, um, broadcasting in the webcam. So, so this is great. So I think this is enough to get up and running. Um, uh, this is how you would start the screen capture, something like this. It gives you a little countdown and then you can see it's actually running over here. I can come and I can press finish recording for, for that right now. Um, yeah, so that's how you get up and running with Kazam.